If you use AccuQuilt, you've got to watch this video. Hi friends, Emily here from Homemade Emily Jane. Today I'm going to share with you how to cut out literally any shape using your AccuQuilt fabric cutting machine, even if AccuQuilt doesn't already make a die for that shape. Let me tell you about how I recently ordered a completely custom AccuQuilt die from their sister company, Custom Shape Pros. If you've never heard of Custom Shape Pros, be sure to check out the description below where I link to their website and it has tons of information about them and how they can make your creative dreams come true by making an AccuQuilt die exactly what you want. Before I dive into my particular experience, let me show you the different sizes that they have available. They have this awesome chart on their website that shows the different sizes of dies. And if you've been using AccuQuilt for any amount of time, then you're probably pretty familiar with these die sizes because they are literally the exact same dies that you would buy directly from AccuQuilt for their different designs. You'll see on this chart the different size dies as well as which machines they're compatible with. So when you go to fill out the requisition form on the Custom Shape Pros website, they will actually ask you which machine you're using so that they can make sure that the die that they make for you will work with the machine that you own. For my die that I chose, I have the AccuQuilt Go machine and I knew I wanted the biggest size possible. So the die that I ended up using is 10 inches wide by 24 inches long. You'll see in my diagram that I'll show you later, I didn't actually need it to be a full 24 inches long, but I did need the width there. So that's the size that worked out best for me. The prices that they come up with are heavily based on the size of the die that you're getting. The first step after you research the website a little bit is to create the design that you actually want on your die. So for my project, I actually used um, an inspiration from a tutorial from Sugar Bee Crafts. She made these really cute knotted headbands and I um, knew that I wanted to make some too, but cutting them out by hand became very tedious. Here's a picture of the printed out pattern from Sugar Bee Crafts and I actually just um, made mine a little bit larger. When I printed it, I printed it at 120% scale so that it would be slightly bigger. The original pattern is made for children so I wanted to make it into an adult size, so just made that tiny tweak. So you'll see in my diagrams all of the exact measurements that we used um, but we really based it on that tutorial from sugar beet crafts in order for the custom shape pros team to be able to translate your design into what they'll actually use on the die you have to make it digitized in some way they are super helpful um, if you're not really comfortable with drawing it or digitizing it yourself you can actually mail them the paper patterns that you want so they have tons of different options but this was the easiest way for me to do it I got out my graph paper and I actually just traced the piece of paper that I had printed out onto the graph paper and made some measurements on it as well. You'll see here that I calculated that each headband would be three inches wide. So I thought that I could be able to fit three three inch wide headbands onto one die. Um, and then you'll see the all the other measurements are listed too wherever I thought this would be helpful. So you'll wanna do a similar process with yours if there's different dimensions, especially if there's a curve. When you submit your request for a quote, you'll go ahead and upload this picture with that request. There'll be a little spot in the form for you to upload the picture. Some things to make sure of, make sure that your photo is drawn to scale and that you have your measurements listed out wherever possible. After I submitted my design, I was contacted by someone from their team rather quickly with a um, mock-up of what they put together based on my drawing. You'll see that they actually weren't able to fit three of the headbands onto one die because they need space in between them. Exactly what you want might not be feasible, but their team is super helpful in making sure that you're still happy with the product and that it's gonna work properly. So if I would have actually tried to fit three across, the blades wouldn't have been um, really reliable. So doing the two gives space in between the blades and that's exactly what we needed for it to be a successful die. So you'll see on this diagram, we have two headbands and they've put it all into their computer software. They have all of the measurements listed out, even more than the measurements that I gave them. And it's definitely more accurate, precise. The curves are smoother because it's all done electronically. Um, so your die won't have any jagged edges if you drew them accidentally, which is nice to know. 
you might need to go back and forth a little bit until your proof is exactly what you want it and that's totally fine but once you're happy with the proof you'll go ahead and approve the proof and at that point they'll start working on making the dye for you I was really impressed by how quickly they made the dye in just a matter of days they'll have the dye ready for you and shipped to your home just like this one you can see this is my dye after I've used it for a little bit. I drew some lines to help me line up my fabric on it, but it's ended up working out super, super well and I'm really happy with it. I love how it fits in just perfectly with my collection because it looks like just all of the other ones too. Once you receive your dye, it's time to start cutting out your custom shapes. It'll work just like any other AccuQuilt dye. If you're using the Studio and you're getting a Go dye, you'll need to use the adapter. Um, another thing to keep in mind is the mat sizes. So if you're getting a super large custom die, but you don't have any mats that suit that, you'll want to add on a, a mat. You'll want to add on a mat as well to that purchase so that you can use it as soon as you get it. I hope you enjoyed learning about my experience making a custom AccuQuilt die using Custom Shape Pros. Be sure to check out the description below um, for a link to a blog post outlining this whole experience um, as well as a link to the Custom Shape Pros website. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing!